Hi guys, sorry about the background noise, we've got the washing machine on in the kitchen and also the central heating boiler is going. But I want to do this little project while we've still got some daylight in the conservatory. Okay, did a little project the other day using this fan driven car. We had a styrofoam plate stuck on the front of it there and the question was, would it go forwards or backwards? The wind from the fan blows the plate forwards, but because the fan's actually attached to the car, the fan itself is trying to go backwards. And it was interesting to find that the car did actually go forwards. So I didn't want to do any more work to it, but thinking about it, I think I've got to have another go at it. Rather than use that car, I've modified my old favourite chassis here, so I can attach various sizes of sail at that end, and attach the fan at this end. So the first thing I want to demonstrate is just a small plate. Stuck there, hold the fan here so it's not attached to the car. Just move that out of shot and that. Okay, turn the fan on and the car's being blown forwards. Change that for a slightly bigger plate. Fan on. And it goes forward faster. Take it off. Fan on nothing happening. Attach the fan to the car. Fan on. And it blows the car in the opposite direction. Small plate. Fan on. Still going the same direction. Bigger plate. Fan on, still going backwards. Much bigger plate, fan on, hmm, give it a little push. No, stopping. Give it a little push that way. So it's not moving there. Just to check, shake that off. Fan on. And away we go. This time, instead of the big flat plate, we'll use the original styrofoam plate that we had on the other car, which is significantly smaller. So, fan on. This time we'll attach the fan. Fan on. And away it goes.
So why does that happen? So we'll try and do some sort of summary. If the fan's not attached to the car, then the car goes forward even with a small little disc like that. And goes alright with that one, and goes alright with that one. But with it attached to the car, with the small one, the car goes backwards. With the medium one, the car goes backwards. With the large one, I think it actually stood still, didn't it? But with the smaller one, with the dished shape, so the air is obviously hitting there, but actually coming back and being directed back this way, that's enough for it to unbalance it. And instead of the fan pushing it that way, the air pressure hitting that and shooting out this way is enough to push the car forwards. I'd love to see somebody do this properly, scientifically, but that's the best explanation I can give. It's the shape of that plate redirecting the air that's enough to push the car forwards, whereas the flat plate just disperses the air out at right angles and doesn't push the car forwards.